The Port Adelaide Football Club has lured one of the AFL's biggest stars to join its coaching team. Michael Voss replacing Phil Walsh, who is poached by the Crows. Reporter Tom Rainey is live at Alberton. And Tom, a big appointment. Oh, no question about that, Brenton. A massive appointment. Five years as a senior coach in his own right. Three-time Premiership captain, Brownlow medalist. But it's more the fact that the power, after losing Walsh to the team across town, they've now found the man they think who can be Ken Hinckley's right-hand man. It's the significance of his pedigree that uh, elevates it um, for, from our point of view and that it's just a, it's a continuation of... Um, a, a really high quality program that we've been building for a couple of years. It's a great program, no question about that. Now, Voss will arrive with his family on Tuesday and begin work and try and settle into Adelaide. And don't forget, of course, a little bit later in sport, we'll have all the trade news and the wrap up from another big day. As you saw earlier, Michael Voss has joined Port Adelaide as their midfield manager on a multi year deal. The power confident they've found the perfect replacement for Phil Walsh. Port could hardly contain its delight at landing Ken Hinckley's new right-hand man. An AFL coach, senior coach with five years experience, for a young emerging midfield group that we've got, uh, I don't think you get a better role model than that and so, so we're, we're thrilled with the appointment to be honest. The power confident, Voss can fill the shoes of Walsh who's now in enemy territory. We certainly won't lose any momentum. In, in my view. The trade deadline is fast approaching, but Thomas is confident Paddy Ryder will land at Alberton and they're looking at all options. Yeah, there have been conversations around players, other picks, other clubs. You know, it's, it's incredible the sort of things that get dragged in here. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, 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 at the, we're at the business end of it now. If a deal isn't done, the grievance tribunal looms large. Is Paddy prepared to go the whole way? Yeah, I think so. I think he. He's articulated that pretty well, and um, but let, let's hope it doesn't get to that. The power's set for a late flurry as they also look to land Daniel Gorringe, but the Crows have missed out on Jonathan Giles with a 26-year-old Ruckman choosing Essendon over the Crows. Former Melbourne captain Jack Trengove has been left shattered after scans revealed more damage to his foot, meaning he failed a medical which would have allowed him to be traded to Richmond. I went with Jack last night to the scanning and sat there and looked at it and was, a, was shocked to all the doctors how quickly it's deteriorated. The 23-year-old staying upbeat saying, someone out there loves giving me challenges to overcome. Don't feel sorry for me, just back me in. Tom Boyd still wants to become a Bulldog but is unlikely to get there with a year to run on his contract. Tom Wren, 9 News.